he was sent to North Africa, which was the first serious action of the United States Army in World War II. And he was one who was willing to go, because Bob, at that point, was interested in his career, and he was interested in the guys, and uh, he realized that just the act of going would add to his popularity if he lived through it. And he didn't care too much about that because he always brought a couple of writers with him to front. And he was in North Africa, and he told me this story. Uh, I didn't go on that first trip. Uh, actually, he got uh, a writer out of London to go. <laughs> and uh, they were in some area where uh, there had been a lot of action and so forth. And uh, uh, he was getting out to to hurry over. Oh, I, I guess there was a an alert or something. He ran out of the Jeep that he was in, and he fell into a ditch, and he hurt his leg, couldn't walk. So they carried him to the uh, uh, the tent, the medical tent, you know, and this uh, medical tent is on, it starts to work on his leg. And Bob said, what are you doing? You know, you're only hurting me. And so the soldier said, no, it's all right, all right, I'll, I'll get there. And Bob said, listen, he says, how the hell did you get into the medical corps? And the guy says, well, <laughs> when I applied, when I was drafted, they asked me the name of my last employer, and I said, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I think the story was true. I don't know whether it was or not. But at any rate, uh, Francis Lankford was along on that one, and that was the first of his overseas tour. And uh, they went to uh, Algiers, I guess, where Eisenhower put them up in a hotel, and Eisenhower said, don't worry, uh, we have cleaned out the German Air Force. You'll be okay. You got a good night's sleep. And, of course, in the middle of the night, the bombing raid, and Bob and Francis went down to the bomb shelter below the hotel. And the way Francis tells it, uh, and Bob was saying to her, he said, no, no, no. He says, don't worry, don't worry. It'll be over. There's no danger. You shouldn't worry. And she says, all right, Bob, but would you get off my lap? <laughs> and uh, then he sent uh, a telegram to Eisenhower uh, the next day saying, thanks for the night, for the night's rest.